What's up, YouTube? This is Rose Gold back for another video, and I check it out. When U.S. Senator Roger Marshall was recently asked about this, he openly admitted that a worldwide famine is definitely going to happen. Now, this is a U.S. United States Senator. <clears throat> now, he says, did you just say there would be a famine in Europe in the next two years? This is what the host is asking him. He's at an interview or whatever on a show. Her name is host Maria Bartiromo asked, did you just say there would be a famine in Europe in the next two years? He, he goes on to say this would be a worldwide famine. United States Senate or not. I think it would be even worse next year than this year. So if 12, 15% of the wheat comes from Ukraine that's exported and they're having problems getting fertilizer, they're having tractors in the field, all the diesel fuel is going towards their war efforts, right? The senator said. Prior to 2022, can you ever remember a time when a sitting member of the United States Senate publicly warned us that a worldwide famine was coming? Prior to 2022, can you ever remember a time when a sitting member of the United States Senate publicly warned us that a worldwide famine was coming? Now, see, this reminds me when I was trying to tell people about what China's government told them to stock up for a whole year. Now, people that didn't that didn't take heed to that, that's over there in Shanghai, China, and whatnot, they are scratching for food. They're over there uh, allegedly killing their pets as if they don't anyway. <laughs> but this is serious, though. So they're over there, you know, getting rid of stuff. They have no food. They had a protest because they was like, we're running out of food. But see, they warned them to get this stuff. And see, you can't just buy freezer stuff, refrigerator shit, period. When those times come, you're going to have to go and get non-perishable foods, starting with the canned goods and whatever else in bags and maybe like this and that, that can last, that has a long shelf life. And don't forget, Plenty of God dog on me water. Hell of water. You can never have too much water. All right? You can never have too much water. So that's the thing. You feel me? So, yeah, people, this shit is real. Like, this is a U.S. Senate. Now, evidently, this must have been not in the United States when he did this interview type of thing. Because she was, she was talking about Europe. And I, I don't know if it, it might have been in Europe when they made it, when they did the, you know, the broadcast on it. But either way, when he's talking about the whole world, he's talking about worldwide famine. Because what they doing over there and stuff, see, it's some resources that we were getting from Russia, Ukraine and stuff like that especially just Russia. We'll just say Russia. They were getting stuff from Putin. They was at fair exchange and stuff and whatnot and whatnot. Exporting, importing. But now, shit, everything done stopped. So it's a lot going on that we don't see as far as our, if, well, if you're not researching it, as far as your, uh, the resources. It's a lot of stuff that we don't know about what's, what they're doing behind the scenes as far as these natural resources and whatnot. That's going on, people. So, you know, and that was a part of the thing why gas was going up. Because we was getting gas from Russia. We was getting certain gas and stuff from Russia, you know. So, it's a lot playing into this. And people say, well, I ain't going to be scared of Russia. They don't want nothing with the United States. See, it ain't about. See, them going to war is one thing. I, what I'm worried about, if I'm still here, when that type of shit jump off for real, for real, Lord forbid, you know what I'm saying? But, see, the aftermath, not only the aftermath of, the, of that, but the in-between, you know what I'm saying? What, meaning, while it's going on, while it's going down, plus after that. Like, right about now, we like, 
just living life. Do, 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 do. You know what I'm saying? But when shit starts to really stop in your life, that's when you, hey, that's when you got to be, that's when that saying come in, the, the, uh, the, the survivors of the fittest and stuff like that, and, and, and only the strong survive and shit like that. Yeah, because that's what it's going to be looking like. It's looking like that now, though. It's looking like that now, though. We just have a lot of distractions in the way, like internet. We have a lot of entertainment on our phones and everything, TV, so it kind it, 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 it soothes you. It's like a medicine. It blocks stuff out. It masses the pain. It masses the, the disgust that we see we wake up to every day by just turning on the damn news. By just turning on the news, trying to fix you a cup of coffee, and you just like, and you got to go to work and shit, and you just like, damn, this world crazy. Then you go to work and you're surrounded by demons. It's hard for you to stay there. It's like, damn, I'm tired of this shit. It's the damn people. It don't even be the job. It's the people. The weird ass, vibe ass people. So, that's what I'm saying, people. This coming from a U.S. senator. Better wake your ass up. Message.